I'm Greg, and all together now, we, we are live. live! Thank you for joining us here for our third and final episode of Food Week. This week, we've been experimenting with chocolatey mud cakes. We have been sipping some strawberry smoothies. And today, we are moving to savoury world, yes, because it is... <laughs> Burger, burger time! time. <laughs> Don't know why I put an air horn in there, but sure, it's burger time. Um, heads up, we've also got a bunch of exciting announcements at the end of the show, uh, including what next week's theme is and also a special date for your diary. So stick around till then. But before we uh, flip to burgers, uh, thank you for sending in so many pictures of you and your smoothies. They've all looked delicious. Oh, nice. <laughs> so let's take a look at some of those photos first. Here are Logan and Finley. Uh, they have been really enjoying their smoothies. In fact, they were gone in seconds. They slurped them down so fast. Here's Sophie and Emma who made strawberry smoothies with a twist. They Ooh. added blueberries and raspberries. Freddie and Lewis loved making their strawberry smoothies uh, with... They're chocolate mug cakes. Nice. nice. Clever, clever. Finley's smoothie went down a treat and he's been teaching his parents all about the properties of bananas. Ollie and Archie made uh, strawberry smoothies and they used the leftovers to make ice lollies. Brilliant. Uh, Sai and Sud or Si and Sud enjoyed making banana and orange smoothies and called them Tanganana. Uh, Ada and Miriam are two super cool smoothie operators. They really enjoyed their blueberry and mango smoothies. Joseph and Hannah also loving food week, drinking their smoothies in the sunglasses. The only way to do it. Ica blended her smoothie by hand and made it from mixed berries and banana. And then lastly, we have Matteo and Gael, who are in Italy, and they say that smoothies are one of their favourite foods, and they absolutely loved making both smoothies and ice lollies. <laughs> oh, hi! <laughs> hi! What's happened to the studio? Oh, hi! Hello there, and welcome to Dave's Diner. We serve the tastiest burgers this side of the internet. Specials include the meat-free Maddie meal. Oh yeah, and uh, <laughs> cricket royales. But our burgers might not be what we expect. Because we serve burgers of, of the, the future. future. <laughs> what? What? Hey, 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 it's us. <laughs> It's really us. Hi. What do you think of our little transformation? It's uh, it's our new burger diner. Cool, right? Yeah, we set it up with Dave to help encourage people to try new kinds of burgers. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. uh, some of them may take you by surprise but as well. But so far, our burgers of the future have been pretty successful and orders have been flooding in. They so have. that's really exciting. Oh. Oh, I'm now. I get it. Yeah, get it. You get it. Right. You get it. You get it. Hello, Dave's Diner, bringing you the future's food today. What can we get you? Hi, Dave's Diner. Can I order two meat-free Maddie meals, please, with uh, extra chips? The name's Katie. Oh, and for delivery, please. Thank you. Oh, how exciting. That was Katie Ashworth from the telly. Mm. So I'm just sending her order through to the kitchen right now. And you there know you what? Go. She really can cook. Yeah. So we better make sure these, uh, these are extra, extra tasty, tasty these yeah. burgers. And um, Katie asked for a meat-free Maddie meal, yep. which is one of our burger specials. But hang on. Why would we want to make a meat-free burger at a special mm. diner like Dave's Diner? And yeah. what makes a meat-free burger a burger of the future? Well, take a look at this delicious burger. I mean, look at that. You've got a juicy meaty patty sizzled on the grill uh you've got a crisp salad with some tasty sauce sandwich between fluffy toasted buns looks good right oh yeah mm -hmm. but what if we were to tell you that that burger doesn't have any meat in it at all no no, no that is a meat free burger have a look at this yeah it's made entirely from plants. That is impressive. Plant-based burgers aren't a new thing at all. Vegetarian and vegan burgers have existed for a really long time and they're eaten by people who, who aren't necessarily vegetarian or vegan as well. Hmm. So a vegetarian diet is one where you don't eat any animals but you can eat products that come from animals like 
cheese or cow's milk yeah, and a or vegan, eggs. Sorry. Yeah, and a vegan diet is one where you don't eat anything that's come from an animal at all. So vegetarian and vegan uh, burgers can be delicious, but quite often they're very different to meat burgers. However, food scientists have been doing their thing and they've recently figured out a way to make plant burgers look, smell, taste and even sound like meaty meat burgers. It's very impressive. Not everybody wants a plant-based burger to copy the taste and texture of meat, but a meatless meat burger might encourage someone who loves meat to try a veggie option, mm. which is a really good thing. Mm -hmm. But how do you make a meatless meat burger out of plants? How do you make a meatless meat burger out of plants, Maddie Mo? Lots of M's what there. You tell us? Uh, first, you need a plant-based protein. Now, proteins help our bodies grow and uh, to repair themselves. And they can be found in lots of animal products like beef and pork mm -hmm. and eggs and fish. But you can also find them in plants. Ooh. Here's a really good source of them. Peas, beans, yeah. grains like rice and wheat. They all contain plant proteins. And these can give a, a kind of a meaty... Uh, you can give a meatless meat burger <laughs> the soft, chewy bite that yeah. you would get with meat. Uh, now we're going to need some fats in our recipe. Uh, fats and oils are important for our health because they help us to uh, help our bodies store energy. Uh, so, But rather than animal fats in a meatless meat burger, we could use coconut oil or a sunflower oil. And these plant fats, they make the burger juicy on the inside, but they'll also make it sizzle when it cooks on a frying pan, just like a meaty burger would. So you get the sound the same as well. Very clever. Now right. let's think about carbohydrates. Carbohydrates are, uh, they give us energy. They can be found in foods like uh, bread, potatoes, yeah. pasta. In a burger, carbohydrates help to bind everything together, hold all the other ingredients together so you can form that kind of that round burger patty shape, we call it, don't yeah. we, a patty. So here are what you tend to use in a meat-free plant-based burger, uh, potato. The potato helps the outside of the burger also get a little bit crunchy mm. when it's cooked. Yeah, nice mm. bit of a crisp bite. Mm. Uh, the last thing we want to do is to recreate that pinkish colour mm. that you get sometimes when you bite into a meat burger. And the way we do that when we make a meatless burger is to use plants that have red colour in them. Plants like beetroot, red apples and even pomegranate can help do this. And when you put everything together, the result can be a delicious meat-free meat burger that's very difficult to tell apart from the real thing. But why would you go to all of that bother? Why try mm. to make plants look and taste like meat and why uh, is this the future yes all very good questions before we tell you the answers to those questions how about we show you how to make your own delicious plant-based burger uh, we'll make it now then we can put it in the oven and hopefully it'll be ready by the end of the show so we have a recipe for you and before we do any cooking you need to make sure you wash your hands i wash mine before the show but we've got some hand sanitizer here as well let me get the recipe out here it comes all right you lot get set this can be a little weekend task for you if you fancy it here we go. Let's nice. have a look at what we got. We have got, uh, really what's brilliant about this recipe is that you only need four main ingredients. We have a tin of black beans, but you can use any beans you like. We've also got half a cup of mushrooms just here. And then I've got three tablespoons of tomato ketchup. Uh, but if you wanted, you could use tomato paste, that's there. And I've also got about four tablespoons of flour. You can use any flour you want, but we've actually got some porridge oats and we whizzed them up in our smoothie maker to make a flour. And we found that this worked best. And then lastly, we've just got some salt and pepper. So all we need to do is put all of the ingredients into one bowl and start to mix it up. Now, this burger recipe isn't going to uh, copy the exact taste and texture of meat in the same way that a meatless meat burger does. Uh, but we've used the beans yep. to kind of help create that meaty texture. Yeah. Uh, ketchup for the colour. And then also we're going to add mushrooms because they're like a bit chewy like meat. Yeah. But also they've got a savoury meaty flavour that we call umami. umami. Yeah. Yeah. it's one of those sort of tastes, those flavours that we don't often think about. We think about sweet, sour and all the others, but we don't think about umami. Right, so I am mixing these up now with a fork. Now, if you want to, you could use a food pre processor and then you can get it really smooth. But um, it will work with a fork. It just takes a little bit more time. 
So you want to get those really mixed up, smush everything. If you don't use a fork, you could also use a potato masher. And then eventually you'll end up with a thick, sticky paste. And what you do with that is you just make it into four balls. It gets a bit messy, but that's kind of fun. Pop and it. then flatten them out. Yes. And then eventually you'll end up with your patties. Here's some we made earlier. Here we go. So we whizzed these ones up, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Here we go. So this, we actually whizzed them up with a food processor. And this is the result. And actually... I've left some chunky bits in there because I think it's delicious, but I'm uh, I'm pretty pleased with those. I think they almost look a little bit like meat burgers. Yeah, they do. They? Now we need to yeah. pop them in the oven at 180 degrees mm -hmm. uh, for 20 minutes, turn them after 10, or you could fry them or you could grill them for like five or six minutes on each side. Proper cookery channel, isn't I it, know. for like this week? But no matter <laughs> how you decide to cook yours, you just want to make sure that you ask a grown-up to help and you should never play with butter. So I'm actually going to go and take these down to the kitchen. Can I, can I check? You're a grown-up. Huh? You're a grown-up? Yes. Okay, fine. Can I? All, All right, right then. All right. Okay, I'll be back in a bit. I'll turn them into veggie burgers for You us. put them in the oven. Nice. Perfect, perfect. Um, now, before we made our veggie burgers, we asked you a couple of questions. The questions are, why bother making plant-based burgers taste like meat in the first place? And why are they burgers of the future? So here's the thing. Most meat burgers are made of beef and eating beef has a big impact on the environment to find out why let's have a look at what it takes to make a beef burger yeah um let's start with the cows okay and what sort of cows... things would we need to make or to raise cows first mm. you need a lot of space because not only do you need the land for the cows to graze on but you also need the land to grow the crops that mm -hmm. will feed the cows. Yes. A lot of the trees in the Amazon have sadly been cut down to create space to graze cows. Um, almost 80% of the land, in fact. Yeah, 80% of the land, of the trees that have been chopped down were to make what they for mm. uh, cow farming. Um, in our last show, we told you that there could be 10 billion people living on the planet by the year 2050. Yeah. That's a lot of mouths to feed. So if all of us eat meat all the time then we're very quickly going to run out of space all right what else do cows need cows need to drink water yeah yeah um cows drink a heck of a lot of water mm. uh, and also there's all the water that you also need to grow their food as well right uh, mm. and the water for cleaning and running the farm too that's a lot of water altogether yeah do the so maths much. well actually it's quite interesting it, it takes about 1500 liters of water yeah to produce one kilogram of wheat, yes, which is a plant, yep. but it would take 10 times more to produce one kilogram of beef. So that's 10 times more water to raise the beef than it would be to raise the wheat. There's something else we need to talk about. a big difference there. What's There's something that? else we need to talk about. <laughs> yeah. Excuse you? No, it wasn't me, it was a cow. Uh, uh, you see, cows yeah. produce a lot of gas, a gas called... <laughs> Methane. methane but they do trump some of it out the back but most of it actually comes out of their mouth yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was supposed to be a burp sound effect <laughs> i've never burped like that in my life i don't know about you hang on <laughs> hang on that hang wasn't on. meant to happen hang on hang on hang on <laughs> There you oh, go. Oh dear. Oh, that was funny. There we go. That's better. Yes. I mean, I'd love it if you did burp like that. That would <laughs> I, I would encourage it. <laughs> so actually, uh, yeah, oh, most dear. of that gas comes out of a cow off through their mouth. Yeah, as a burp. Yeah. But you know, we can't blame the cows though, because that gas is actually being made by the bacteria inside their four stomachs. Cows have four stomachs. And this gas, as we said, is a methane gas. But methane is something we call a greenhouse gas, which goes up into the atmosphere and it traps heat a little bit like a blanket, which warms up the uh, planet and contributes to global warming. Right now, there are around 1.5 billion cows on the planet, which is an awful lot of methane being burped and belched into the atmosphere. <laughs> It not is. good for global warming. So hang on, right? Farming mm -hmm. uh, cows takes a lot of food. Yeah. It takes a lot of water. It takes a lot of space. It takes a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. And here's the thing. We yeah. grow the plants. We do. Right. We feed the plants to the cows. Yes. Then we eat the cows. Sometimes, yeah. Right. But we could just eat the plants. 
Right. And just cut out that middleman. And we could save a lot of that energy that's being produced. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and not only would this make way less greenhouse gases, but it would also use fewer limited resources too. Yeah. So that is why eating burgers made out of plants can help save the planet and why we think they are burgers of the future. But hold up. Hold up. As mm -hmm. we said, not everyone wants their plants to taste like meat. No. All right. It's just it's a great way for people who love meat to maybe consider trying a veggie option yeah. and eat a little bit less meat in the future. So what do you think? Would you like to try or have you tried a meatless meat burger? Why don't you let us know in the live chat if you're watching with us live. If you're catching up later. Hello. Thanks for joining us too. Uh, lots of people in the live chat saying mm. they love burgers. Are they? Sia, okay. Oscar, Spencer, Verena, Ali, Isla, Lilith, Keisha, Sebastian. So many people saying they love burgers. And lots also of you do. lots of you laughing at what you're now calling the burp party. <laughs> Amazing. Very clever, you lot. The very, very clever. That's so good. Also, I might have shown a wrong picture at the start. Oh, okay. Sorry if that was. I'll try to fix that at the end. Try to fix that at the end. Don't worry, it happens. We were setting up a diner. Oh, ooh, ooh, we've got another call. Should I take it? All right, then. okay, another order. Right. <clears throat> Hello, Dave's Diner, serving tomorrow's food today. How can I help you? Hey there, is that Dave's Diner? Yeah. Oh, great. Can I put in an order? Of course you can. Um, can I get um, one moat float milkshake, please? Yep. Uh, one Greg's Garden side salad and, mm -hmm. oh, two Cricket Royales. I love them. They're tasty. Good choice. Oh, and don't forget the sauces, Dad. Oh, yeah. And can we get some extra sauces, please? Yeah. Thanks. The name's Nigel Clark. All right. Thank you, Nigel. Cheers. Bye. Bye-bye. Oh! -ho -ho. Nigel Clark, isn't it? Nigel Clark from the Ted and Telly in the uh, Dad Avengers podcast. Details are in the description below. Um, okay, right. So, oh, hang on. I just need to put the order for some Cricket Royales through to the kitchen. There we go. That's Cricket right? Cricket, cricket Royales. Royales. They are one of our delicacies. Yeah. One of the absolute specials here at Dave's Diner. Mm -hmm. 0800 123, call us Dave. <laughs> um, it's a delicious bug burger. If you're thinking um, bugs in a burger, oh, that is gross, then just take a look at this picture. Oh, Soz. That's all right, because actually it might not be what you expect. Look at that. That patty in the middle has been made with bugs. It doesn't look that bad, does it? No. Now look, if in the future we want to eat less meat, to mm. help protect the planet, we need to find different sources of proteins. Mm. Plants are one, but bugs are another. Yeah. Yes. Insects are a regular part of uh, two billion people's diets around the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have a look at this little thing. What this is, is a Mapane worm. Yeah. For people who live in rural South Africa, this provides the majority of their animal protein. The good thing about farming insects is that they have a much smaller impact on the environment, uh, much smaller than farming cows or other livestock mm. animals like pigs, sheep and chickens. And this is because they don't need as much space. Yep. Uh, they don't need as much food or water. Yep. And they also take much less time to grow so they can be harvested more often. Mm. But what do you think? Would you eat a burger made out of bugs? Let us know in the live chat. Maybe the idea doesn't take your fancy because uh, you don't eat animals at all. Mm -hmm. Or maybe you just think the idea is gross. But if you do, that's only because we're not used to it. Just because we don't eat bugs, you know, it just doesn't feel normal to us. Have you ever eaten a bug before? I haven't actually, no. Have you ever eaten a bug before? I have eaten some bugs before. Would you like a surprise? Yes, I would love a surprise. Would you like to eat some bugs? Sure. Okay. Okay. Eating bugs whizzed up in a burger is one thing, but eating an insect or, a, 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 I don't know, a type of worm, maybe, uh, that's just by itself is completely different. It's just not something I've eaten before. So naturally, it's going to be a little bit of a surprise. Maddie hasn't seen these um, and you've never eaten a bug before. Okay. So let's have a look on the top down camera. Uh, as you lift that off. I'm going to come a little bit closer so we can all see this. Ready? Okay. For you, I have some mealworms. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm... Uh, this is okay. 
I actually feed these to the birds quite Ooh. a lot. Mm. So I'm just going to go down in one, am I? Yeah. So quite often these would get whizzed up into flour or into a burger or something, but we're just going for um, for eating them whole. We should say, uh, do these have any flavours on them or anything at all? No, no, they're basically bug flavoured. You can get them with loads of different flavours, but these are pretty much straight up kind of roasted as they are tasty. So this is the future. This is the future. For, 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 for meat eaters. Okay. Righty ho. Just one, I see. Take a few more. Take a, take a little hand, little pince, pince roll. Take a few of them. Just... A little second one. Just a little second one. Mm. 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 I have to say, they're just a little bit dry. Yeah, they are quite dry. You know what? They don't really taste of anything. A bit, if anything, they're a bit cardboardy. I'm going to say. So if I was to eat these again, I would want them to be um, a little bit, have some flavour put on them. Or if they were whizzed up and you could use them as an ingredient in a burger, that's different. Well, it's funny you say that because I've now got one. I'm going to be fair, okay? I'm going to I'm going to nibble these ones. Okay. All right? All so right. um, this next one here, put mm -hmm. the top down camera on. This next one is crickets. Crickets. Now um, you wow. can actually make flour from crickets. Okay. Um, I've actually seen this before. You can get, and it's like a bit of wheat flour and then a bit of cricket flour, which adds loads of that protein, ah. right? Which is great. So I've got myself here some crickets. Can we get even closer? Can we get yeah, closer? of course we can. Let's get right in. There you go. Okay, sweet. Crickets. Go for it. Hang on. Have a couple of them. Are you going to take a few? Yeah. All right, go uh, for it. Hold it to focus. There you go. So you can see those now. Crickets. Okay, sweet. Great for it. Quick time. Crunchy? Crunchy. Taste much? Not massively. Don't really taste of anything? I actually quite like them. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. There you go. We've got yeah. some water there, only because I didn't want to get uh, bugs, in your bugs in my teeth. Don't bugs in your teeth when you're doing live. So we've mm. got one more. One more to try. Um, yeah, I've uh, there's one more, and I think we're going to each have uh, one of these okay. because... All right. Ready? Yeah. Ooh, what on earth are these? These are crunchy locusts. Wow. Look at that. They're quite big. They are quite big, aren't they? Yeah. Oh, I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> this is proper mind over matter stuff, isn't you go, it? Hang on, I'm going to take this massive one here, look. Okay, there you go. Oh, wow. Okay, well, let's try them. Let's try them then. All right. Okay, ready? It's the future. Down in one. Kind of tastes like, oh, oh, that's a stronger flavour. That's a stronger flavour, that one. But it's quite nice. I prefer it. Do you? Yeah. This is the thing, though. As we said, they'll normally be whizzed up into flour or, like, mushed up into a burger. It's just a great source of protein yeah. that has a smaller impact on the planet. I have to say, they really don't taste of much. Mm. It does feel odd eating them at first, but when you think, actually, for lots of people, this is very normal, they just don't really taste of anything, and I've just got bits in my teeth. Mm. But, yeah, whiz those up. Turn it into a burger like we've done at Dave's Diner, and it could be absolutely delicious. Let's have a look at some of you lot in the live chat. So yeah. I've got a list of people who would eat a bug burger. Mm -hmm. I've got a list of people who say no way to a bug burger. Bug burgers or meat-free burgers? Let's do the no ways on the bug burgers first. Okay, who says okay. that? No way is Rosalind, Ralph, Georgia, Ayla, Ethan, and Amelia. But now you've seen that we've eaten bugs and actually it was fine, would you change your mind? Because there's a bunch of you that you could join. Yeah, so Annie, Amelia, Eva, Evangeline, Robin and Esme all say, maybe. Sure. Why not give it a try? Yeah. Um, lots of you said you would eat the meat-free meat burgers. These are the meaty burgers made out of plants. Daniel, Chloe, Emily, Sammy, uh, Sammy Maddie, Matilda, Ruben and Oscar. So there you go. Lots of us are up for trying something a little bit different. Mm. Mm. Look what it is! We've got another order coming in. Uh, shall I answer it? Yeah. Ready? Okay. <clears throat> Hello, Dave's Diner, serving tomorrow's food today. How can we help you? Hi, Maddie. Hi, Greg. I've just come back from a time traveling adventure into the future, and they have lab grown burgers there. I was wondering if you guys were serving them yet. With a side of fries, of course. <laughs> anyway, I've got to go. I'm off on another time traveling adventure now. Back to November 5th, 1955. Got a lot to sort out. See you soon. Good luck with Dave's diner. Oh. Andy so, Day? Yeah, 
our time traveling TV presenter friend Andy Day. Andy normally travels back in time to hang out with the dinosaurs, mm. but it sounds like he's actually been going back to the future instead. Oh, the future? Yeah. Do you think they have roads in the future? Well, I think where Andy's been, they probably don't need any roads, mm. but they do have lab grown burgers though. So, to answer your question, Andy, mm. do we have lab, bur lab grown burgers at Dave's Diner? No, no, not yet. Andy. No, we actually Sorry. haven't. Um, no, mm. but we will soon, as soon as they're fully available, because they are the ultimate burger of the future. But what do we mean by a lab grown burger? Okay. Lab -grown burger. So a lab grown burger is a burger that is made of meat, yes. of beef, and, right? Yes. But that beef doesn't come from a cow that's been raised on a farm, it comes from a cow that's been grown in a lab. <laughs> okay. What actually do you mean by that? Right. Maybe explain this a little bit. First of all, you take a tiny, tiny little sample from uh, the backside of a living cow. Mm -hmm. All right, a nice meaty bit from its bottom. Yes. Uh, but the cow hardly feels a thing and it has no long-term effect on the cow. Mm -hmm. And then that sample, it's just a few cells, a few building blocks, right? Uh, they're put inside a culture flask and then it's given the nutrients, all the food essentially that it needs to grow and grow and grow mm -hmm. and to multiply. So all those cells are soon you've got billions of cells okay right. which make tiny strands of muscle tissue uh, and when scientists put all those strands together yeah they can turn them into a beef burger have a look that at this incredible so this was made in a laboratory whoa wow that is impressive the world's first lab grown burger was made by Moser Meat a group from Maastricht University in the Netherlands but seven years ago the science and technology was so new and so innovative that one burger would cost hundreds of thousands of pounds yeah, to it make. Yeah, super expensive. However, that yeah. tech has moved on in those last seven years and they now reckon that very soon they'll be able to make a burger for about 10 quid. Yeah, just make lots of them. Yeah. It makes things a little bit cheaper. But again, what do you think? We put the question to you. Would you eat lab-grown meat? So it is animal meat. It just came from something that was grown in a lab. Hmm. And if you would or wouldn't, what are the pros and what are the cons? What are the positive and negative things about eating meat in this way? Oh, hello. 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 Okay. Is he in it? Dave's diner. Hello. Hello, Dave. Oh, it's the kitchen. Oh, hang on. Brilliant. Thank you. Thanks for letting me know. Bye. Our veggie burgers are nearly ready. Yes. Yeah. Okay, if they're nearly ready, I reckon that means we've just about got time for... Quiz. Do the bird flip. Do the bird flip. Do the bird flip. Do burger the flip. flip. Burger flip. Oh, what's that? Open the burger phone. Hi. Hello. Serving tomorrow's food today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice what is the quiz today nice then? Admin. Okay, the quiz is really simple and fun today. Uh, we're going to show you pictures of five burgers. Yep. And you have to have to work out which one's which. So you've got a meat burger, you've got a bug burger, you've got a lab grown meat burger, you've got a veggie burger, and you've got a meatless meat burger made completely from plants. Okay, so one is a veggie burger, so made out of lots of vegetables, and one is the meatless meat burger, which is made from plants but made to look like meat. Ready? Got it. Five options. Boom. Here they all are. Ah, okay. Okay. So your job is to match them up. Okay, you've got at the top there, you've got the different types of burgers. Yeah. And then here you've got pictures of all the different types of burgers. Which one is which? I, I don't actually know this, so I'm you playing along this. with no, you. This is also a surprise. Okay, so I'm just looking at our screen here, everyone. So I'm gonna say the one in the middle to me yeah. looks quite sort of like chunky and it looks like it might have sort of like yeah bigger chunks in it so i think that's probably the veggie burger okay likely so to have bits of corn bits of we'll put veg burger yeah, under that yeah okay okay cool. keep going okay the this is really hard what else have i got lab grown okay i think the lab okay the one on the far left yeah uh i think that might be the bug burger Okay. I'm going for bug burger simply gotcha. because we can't see inside it and it looks like a slightly different colour. So it might, I don't know. Okay. The one next to it, I'm going to go with lab burger. Okay, you're going lab for, oh, are you? I don't, no. I just, it's very juicy and very pink. But is that not 
Looks like a meat burger to me. Okay, you know what? Flip that one to the one on the other side. I'm going to go lab, uh, change you want lab on the far right? Yes, please. Yeah, okay. that's going on okay. the far right. I hope you're playing along too, by the way. Lots of people in the live chat think number one is meat. This first one on the left-hand side that you've called bugs, okay? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe I've got veg and bugs mixed up. Well, lots of people think number three is bug. Yeah, veg. Well, the one that you've named veg. So lots of people think the you middle one. Sw- switch them over because maybe that's like a beetroot burger, veggie beetroot burger. So switch them. What, so you want the left-hand one to be veg? Yes, please. Okay, cool. What's the middle one? The middle one is now bugs. I'm going with you lot. Thank you. Thank you for giving okay. me that bit of advice. Okay. And then I'm going to go plant burger in between veg and bugs. Oh, lots of people thinking that's lab, but okay. But we just, I know how juicy and pink they can look, okay. those meatless meat burgers. So plant I burger. think that's the meatless meat burger. And I think our actual meat burger is the one between bugs and lab. Okay, so this is Maddie's choice. Does it match your choice? Shall we find out the answers? Okay, it? this is going to be tricky to do. Okay, okay, so let's have a look. Let's start with this one on the right-hand side. Okay, this one is... That one is a lab burger. Yeah! Well done. Okay, we'll take that one off. That one is a lab burger. Okay, let's next well done. go Have you got that one right? this one. This one is... A meat burger. Yeah! Well done. Well done. Okay. I'm so excited. And let's go for uh, this one next. This one is a plant burger. What? That is a plant-based burger. I genuinely did not know these ones. Right. Wow. So we can hard. get rid of that one. Good okay. work. And let's go for this one. Is this one the veggie burger? <laughs> Actually, you were right the first time. Oh, the I other have way round. Lots of them are also saying the other way. I was just a bit sneaky with what I told you. So I would have got a full house. You would have got a full house. Well, that's but... what happens when you run a Dave's oh, diner. Oh, I made wow. Bugs, I made bugs really big. I just meant to move it here. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that was fun. I enjoyed that one. Hope you uh, enjoyed playing along with us there. But you know what? I think that goes to show that... There are loads more burger options out there that we might have first realised. And actually, all of them look delicious. And they are. They are all delicious in their own ways. Now, look, we don't want to ever tell anybody what they should eat. No, but it is good to know about our options and to understand how the food we eat impacts the planet. Also, not everyone in the world can cut out meat. And not everyone will want to cut out meat. So what we're just saying is that if we could make a bit of an effort, if we're in a position where we can make an effort to reduce the amount of meat we eat just a little bit, Mm -hmm. that will help. Yeah, definitely. So it's just worth thinking about, isn't it, really? Oh, you know what that means? Oh, burgers are here. Hang on, let me just go and fetch them. Thanks. All right, she's coming. It's the kitchen. Right, whilst Maddie does that, get yourself ready for the awkward selfie, all right? Okay. Whoa, these look so good. So excited about these. Look so these at this. these are the plant burgers that we uh, that we showed you how to make earlier in the kitchen of Kleine kind of rustled them up for us. I'm <gasps> really impressed, but hang they on, look actually, great. Hang on two seconds. Because they thought we'd like to just see one of the burgers by themselves. Oh Here sweet. We Should we look on the top down? Yeah, definitely. So okay. this is what it looks like after it is uh, after it's been eaten, which is fab. There Let's you go, focus. trying to get a bit of focus for you. Can we break it in half? Of course we can. It does actually look a little bit like... Here you go. I'll just, like... I'll just clean my hands. Hang on. Okay, nice. Here you go. I have got a fork, but it's... Hey, look at that. That is actually that pretty looks, meaty, that I would say. That pretty good, yeah. So, I, should we take a photo with it before we bite into it? That's a good idea. Let's do the right, awkward then. selfie. Okay. Um, what else can we do? Do you want to do burger phone? I'll yeah. Hold, I'll hold burger. You know I want to do burger phone. I've wanted right. one of these my entire life. <laughs> okay. Very happy. Okay. And ready for the awkward selfie, everybody. Hang on. There's, there's one. Which way around should... Don't do food photography. Okay, there we go. One, two, three. It's the awkward self. Oh, no. Oh, no, hang on. Oh, don't collapse our burger. I had a burger disaster. You've got to make it look like all the burgers look like on the pictures. You're going to have to do another. You never get served. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's the awkward selfie. (laughs) <laughs> look if you do take a little snap of an awkward <laughs> selfie share it with us on the social medias we love to see and we love to see where you're watching who you're watching with um can we have a bite of one of these now yeah please do all right cool let's just eat one because then we can take a nice photo of the other one okay afterwards. all right should I, should I just should I do the bite then oh right, okay all right then. double thumbs up double thumbs up means 
<laughs> Double win. Okay, nice. Um, it's almost time for us to reveal our next theme, what next week's theme is going to be. Uh, but first of all, let's have a look at a few more of your smoothie pictures. Mm. Uh, here we go, getting them ready. Okay, Clara and Edith are up first. They made lollies and cress eggs with faces on. But this was Edith's first ever lolly and she absolutely loved it. Super cool. Uh, Oliver was mind blown by our strawberry facts and was very excited to share them with his daddy while making smoothies. Danielle and Zane made blueberry and banana smoothies and they added whole blueberries to their lolly leftovers. Nice. Noah loved the smoothie lollies. Uh, apparently he loves food as much as me, um, but maybe a little bit more because he also loves Brussels sprouts. Oh, you do then? You really <laughs> if do. You watch well, the, then you change your mind on Yeah, the Christmas sprouts. episode on Brussels sprouts, mm. that's worth a giggle. Rupert and Toby made smoothies using frozen mixed berries and a frozen banana. Then they turned the leftovers into lollies. Great idea. Here's Adam from the Netherlands uh, with the before and after of his smoothie lolly creation. He said it's marvellous. These two smoothie operators are Harry and Evie. They made strawberry, raspberry and blackberry smoothies. Uh, Daniel and Ella are also smoothie operators. They love their smoothies and added strawberry sauce on top. Ellie added coconut yogurt, yogurt to her strawberries to give it a tropical taste. And here we've got Julia and Sam. They made smoothies with their daddy using cherries. Great idea. Noah and B really enjoyed their smoothies, but decided the lollies were even better. Looking smooth. At Sean, he made lollies and smoothies with his favourite fruit, mango. Mm, oh, mm, one of my mm. favourites. Shall I squeeze two more in? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Amelia, Spencer and Oliver have made strawberry smoothies all the way in Perth in Western Australia. And lastly, Rosie and Ariana are cousins and they made their smoothies together over a video call. What a great idea. That's a cracking idea. Right, before we do those announcements and those big reveals, a yeah. couple of quick thank yous. Yeah, thank you very much to our customers, Katie, Nigel and Andy, grown-ups, go and say hello to them on social media and let them know that you you watch them on Let's Go Live. Their details are in the description below. Uh, a couple of big thanks from us to some of you lot, patrons. Thank you so much for uh, joining this monthly subscription thing that we've got for Let's Go Live. Uh, we genuinely couldn't keep it up without you. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, Colouring page and certificate going up straight after the show. And also thank you to anybody who was a tipped us a slice of cake this week over on coffee everything is really appreciated yeah thank that's you. set up there if you want to do a little one-off tip to say thank you for yeah. the week um okay are you ready for this bum 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 our next theme <gasps> drum roll okay next monday wednesday friday 11 a.m our theme is going to be spies, spies. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's spy week we are going to be playing spies detectives a secret agents there'll be gadgets galore there'll be secret messages there'll be lots of mystery mysterious puzzles for us all to solve mm -hmm. it's gonna be awesome it is um but that's not our, our only announcement it's not our only announcement uh, the week after spy week is half term mm -hmm. so because it's half term we're going to be taking a break from doing let's go live shows mm -hmm. because we're busy working on another let's go live secret project so there won't be any shows the week after. However, I'm very excited about that. Yes, we do have lots of plans for after half term. Yes, we do. And one of those plans is this. <laughs> oh, it's, it's our, our first, first birthday. birthday. Yeah. Okay, so we began Let's Go Live on the first day of lockdown one, uh, the 23rd of March, 2020. So on the same day this year, we are going to be doing a big old special show to celebrate one year of Let's Go Live. So we wanted to tell you so you can put it in your diaries, all right? So uh, 23rd of March, put it in your diaries, come join us gonna be awesome but just to be clear that's not the only show we'll be doing after half term uh we just wanted to let you know about that one lots in advance uh but spy week is gonna be great talking of birthdays yes should we do some birthdays yes let's okay let's do some whose birthdays. birthday is it today it's Hafsa's birthday happy birthday to you <gasps> claudia stanley and charlotte all turn six today happy birthday teddy turns five today <gasps> logan turns eight today Grace turns nine today. Happy birthday, Grace. Uh, I think Tommy Talltales has a birthday today as well. Congratulations to everyone who has a birthday today. Hey! But, you know, that was the sound of a cow burping. <laughs> yeah, it's, no, it's a burp party. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> okay, so this weekend with some birthdays too. Aurelia is six on Saturday. Happy birthday for Saturday. B is four on Saturday. And Nia and Emily are both eight on Sunday. And Thank you so much, you guys, Theo's for watching. Theo's birthday on Sunday as well. Oh, happy, happy birthday, birthday to you then. 
god um, alright let us do some goodbyes to you lot in the live chat if you've been watching back hello <laughs> goodbye have a lovely weekend we'll see you for spy week goodbye to Matthew and Jenna in Lincolnshire bye bye Hannah, William and Samantha in Rotherham bye to Finn and Henry in Streatham uh, Lewis, Karen and Amy in Devon bye goodbye Nate and Jemima in Essex uh, Bella in Switzerland goodbye Maria and Eloise uh, I've lost my place. Fergus, Connie, and Hamish. <laughs> goodbye. Uh, goodbye, Angus and Isabel. Uh, Danielle and Zane. Bye. Oh, we had a picture of you. Uh, goodbye, Gem and Joe. Uh, and goodbye to. Honey, <gasps> Amy, Amy, Seb, Kristen, Mohammed, Harry, Hannah, Sarah, <laughs> Millie, and, and Charlotte. Charlotte. Bye. Bye, you um, lot. So please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And we will see you next Monday at 11 a.m. for the beginning of. Bye, we. Woohoo! Until then, stay curious. Bye! Bye.